Previously on the Shelter to Channel. Well, pilgrims, it's that time. Bags packed, sticks, and such. And uh, yeah, it's time I leave for this pilgrimage. There'll be a train soon. And on that train, you'll find me. And so it begins. So it would seem that the airport lost my sticks. Yeah. Even though I'm tracking them, I can see where they are with my air tag. They have not moved. Uh, they were supposed to be shipped on a second flight yesterday, but you know. That didn't happen. So today, supposedly, they're coming in around 1 o'clock. I, however, will be already hiking by that point, I'll probably be in San Sebastian. Ironically enough, and or rather luckily enough, the airport's also in San Sebastian. So I think I can just take a taxi over there and continue on. My only concern is hiking without my sticks today. I am like a, a stick master, as you know, at this point. So it's going to be a little, it's going to be hard. So I might have to pick up some cheap ones to, if any store is open at this hour. But I haven't hiked without sticks since... I don't know. I started Machu Picchu without sticks. Because there was some rule that you couldn't use them. Then I figured out eventually that the rule was if you did use them, you had to use rubber tips. Problem solved. And soon I began to ascend Machu Picchu like nobody's business. However, that was it was a bitch. Granted, there were a lot of stairs. Machu Picchu is like the original Stairmaster. I wonder if that makes me a Stairmaster after the fact. Anyways, folks, yeah, so... A little bummy yesterday, but this is just... You gotta, you know, you gotta travel loose. So you can adjust... On a dime. I don't expect any sympathy anywhere. In the forums, the groups, nada. One Camino. So... I'm going to go downstairs, and yeah, if you you probably noticed I'm not in the Alberta that I was supposed to be staying in, because on the airplane I made the call, I did like 48 hours of traveling, it was exhausting, and I slept for probably two hours on the airplane. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to do an Alberta gate where I have to, break in the town at one and have to wait four hours before I check anywhere. And uh, and then what I did, because I was able to call around and sort out this whole stick issue, I was also able to do laundry and everything else. It just... Gave me probably like three extra hours to play with. And I thought like a baby last night. So I got that going on. Anyways, folks. That's my dilemma right now. This is day one. Camino del Norte slash Primitivo. We're off to a great start. Okay, day numero uno, leaving Irun. It can be a little tricky, so pay attention to, for the arrows. They're there, but you don't see them for the first, like, I don't know, 10 minutes. So be sure to use the Wise Pilgrim app or any other app. Find Wise Pilgrim to be the best in this case because, well, it was the only one I had on my phone. Anyways, I'm on the trail now, heading out. Let me show you what this looks like. Actually, I have no idea how to turn this around on this camera. Too bad. Yeah. So, <laughs> almost just lost it there. I need to take the tips off of these. Um, what else is there? Yeah, I just bought new sticks on the way out of town. I'll use these until hopefully I get my original sticks later and then gift these to some other pilgrim that may need them more than I do. I doubt that, but. Regardless, that's what I got going on. So, day one, heading into what looks like the mountains. I'll talk to you all soon. Ciao.
really got to pay attention to the divots in the ground here. I almost just bit it a couple times. Just barely enough room to use the sticks as I'm in the sticks. Be a great place to probably discover a body or at least get rid of one. Clearly the loss of my sticks has me in dark times. <laughs> I can see where this would be really muddy in the wrong conditions. This looks like it's a bike trail also. Laborito. This one sleeping or possibly dying. It's tough to say in these parts. Betcha that's where the holy grail's hidden. And it's locked. Can you see? Did it. Very cool. That's where I came, and I think I'm to trust the arrows. Going. And here's the split. Bike trail, walking trail, bike trail, walking trail. Hmm. Might have to flip a coin.
Greetings, folks. I'm back. Well, no idea where I am. I know that I'm in Spain, so I got that going on. But uh, aside from that, and those poor pilgrims that decided to follow me, it's true. Some decide to follow me. That's the problem when you walk like you know where you're going, and you end up leading many astray. You can quote me on that. I'm trying to be more quotable. You can quote me on that too. Anyways, folks, clearly the caffeine's kicking in. I've taken these, uh, I brought these, um, I say I'm a lot, but these mints, these caffeine, oh, caffeine, <laughs> caffeinated, caffeinated mints uh, that also contain theanine, so you don't get the shakes. And uh, they're kicking in right about now. I have all this energy, and as I'm going downhill, what a waste. Such potential energy. Anyways, it's very, very idyllic here. Let me give you a little taste. Oh, look. It looks like just where I came from. That's right, more of what I came from, which is welcome. But I hope everyone's having a great day. I know I am so far. Now that I get my stick situation sorted. Yeah, it really weighed a lot on my, my mind last night. Kind of, I didn't really take, I, I try not to, I plan loosely. I like to be very, very flexible as I mentioned earlier. Anyways, yeah, I love how they have the signs in Basque. because I can read Basque. Arroz, Anea. Arroz, oh actually, that might be, that's possibly Basque in Spanish. Anyways, that's where I'm heading. Me thanks. Unless I'm going the wrong way. I'm still heading that way. Anyways, I'll check in very soon. We can hear water running. Or maybe it's walking. It's ambling. Water is sauntering, if you will, in the distance. The near distance, so maybe not so distant after all. I gotta go. See the caffeine? Can't do it. So I went the wrong way. If you see this sign, if you observe that arrow, that's the wrong arrow. This van is hiding the right arrow. Fitting there's a donkey there because this was an ass move. This way. And that's the way you want to go. Remember this way. And don't be an ass. This has been a public service announcement brought to you by Shell Toucher. Peace. It's a bamboo forest. Okay, so on the right path now. Know that if you're not climbing a crazy, crazy hill, you're going the wrong way. That was intense. But it looks like I'm coming out. what I cannot say oh well that's just magical I need a photo of this goes on. Okay, decision to be made. Easy. 
how it mocks us. This is no joke. And we made it. Ooh. However, I think I'm going through this farmland. Something tells me I am. Ooh. This is pretty crazy. In a good way. I hear cowbells up ahead. That can only mean one thing. That can mean a couple things. I doubt there's a 70s rock and roll band up here. I hope there is though. Make it all worthwhile. Oh no, it's just some stupid cows joking. Joking. Oh, and horses. Actually, yeah, only horses. There's some more pilgrims up ahead. Okay, onward. So these poles, not the best. They kept like collapsing or telescoping in on that hill. This is why I say if you have some favorite poles, bring them. Despite what people tell you in the forums about picking them up here. Remember, you pay for what you get. If it's cheap, you're getting cheap. That doesn't change no matter what country you're in. I know a deal feels good. But again, if you have trusty sticks, for the love of God, attempt to bring them or ship them. Okay. My rant's over. This is certainly not a one horse town. Hey, horsey. Hola, chico. It's coming to get me. You get the cowbell. Do I identify as a cow? He's probably the rascally one they have to keep track of.
Now, there's two routes I, to take to get to where I'm going, which is San Sebastian. I happen to take the high route because, well, that's the type of person I am. But also, I flipped this damn coin. Lanzo una manera. And, sorry, I'm not filming my face as I'm looking down. So I, I flipped a C, meaning yes, as opposed to no, which is Spanish for no. Here I am taking the high road yet again. I'm Scottish too, so. Okay, people are coming. I don't want to look like a weirdo. I'll talk to you soon. Here we go. This echoes back to the Celts, eh? That's an ancient standing stone if I've ever seen one. And I've seen many. I don't know if it counts as a dolmen, however. Let's see. Yeah, it just might. It may be a dolmen that fell. So that there's only one standing stone. Wow. It like bends in on itself. How interesting. And there might be Latin on it. Pen. I can't make out the writing. But it looks like there's Basque symbol symbols on here as well. And this shrubbery seems to have a cowbell. Or maybe it's beyond the shrubbery. from whence I came. And onward. Ultrea. See if that cowbell sound belonged to anything. Oh, yes. Now, I'm pretty sure those are cows. Yeah. These are executive cows. What real estate up here? Yeah, a field tree. Finally, signs of civilization. Okay. And there's another tower ruin off in the distance. Checking out very shortly. In fact, I need to navigate down this with both hands. I'll be back. Closer. 
un otro toro ruina yeah it's a shame they didn't take care of these things however there could be a very logical explanation behind it it's probably bombed during the civil war if i if i were a gambling man Still a minefield around here for keeping with the theme of war. along the watchtower here. I was just charged by, by a, a kid? Is that what we call baby horses? No. A gelfling? I don't know. A baby horse charged me. What is this? It's got an old pump house. And it would seem we are not done climbing today. Oy vey. But I, that's gotta be, that's gotta be the tip. I can't imagine it going up any further. Oy. Okay. Okay, now we got some markings. Downhill. So that's France over there. And this cloud is rolling in. So I should probably get going. Look at that, you can't even see anymore. Oh, you've, uh, I had to stop saying that. Well, I was wrong. We're still climbing people. Not climbing people, that'd be weird. If not erotic or even kinky. But no, no, no. We're still climbing, comma, people. I think I'm in a cloud. And I don't mean that metaphorically. Look at that, everything just disappeared. It's rolling in. This could be, this could be a bad sign. That's where I came from. And I can't see anything higher. 
except <laughs> this. Oy vey. That, my friends, I think is the last key to ascension, if you will. Uh, it must be the last climb. I can't imagine it going up any further after this. I thought I was done with this. Okay. Whew. We got this. I'm gonna take you all the way. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one hand. One hand tied behind my back while my other hand holds a camera. Those are lies, however. I'm about to put you away. Know your place, phone. I gotta say, these gates, these like, are more like pilgrim traps. These are not designed for people wearing backpacks. It's crazy. It's like a lobster trap. Just want you folks to know, we've gotten this far and I haven't done the classic foot shot yet. I will spare you of that for now. However, if I start getting sentimental, we may see some feet. I'm sorry. It's gonna have to happen. But until then, I'm sticking to my guns. This gate just seems silly. What is it keeping out? I suppose horses, but I mean, a cow could easily fit under there. Totally not necessary. Maybe it is. Maybe they, well, I can only speculate. But maybe, nah, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, back to navigating. Like, um, though the terrain is rather treacherous the weather is in fact perfect i couldn't ask for a better day for hiking it is oh, let me see it's 66 degrees here and there's a cool breeze coming off the ocean granted i'm i'm schwitzen like nobody's business i can feel the sweat on my back but the weather is i couldn't ask for better weather this overcast, I mean, it is already, it's almost 12.30 in the afternoon. So, yeah, treacherous landscape for sure. But um, yeah, the weather is perfect. Yeah, my phantom locks are blowing in the wind as we speak. Anyways, folks, yeah, I should probably not be doing this. Otherwise, I'm gonna record myself possibly dying again. Not dying again, but possibly dying again. Tends to happen a lot around here. Hugo's house is somewhere down here. And my timing is impeccable.
fast, eh? There's the magical castle where we have to fight the dragon to get to level four. Do we have to go up there? No. Well, folks, there it is. There's the magical castle, Castle of the Clouds. Actually, that is a lighthouse. I'm sure that sign over there says something all about it, but this is what is at the top of the stairs. Okay, back to the trail.
just got really humid. Treetops. This is what all that climbing is for. Look at that old, looks like a Roman bridge. It could be an aqueduct. I think that's an aqueduct. They walked across it. Yeah. I'm gonna walk across it. You can go that way. I'm gonna try this. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope so. Okay, that's a good sign. <laughs> if, I, 
Just need a diving board. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you San Sebastian. So close, yet so far. Yeah, you know, because I was looking, everyone down there was looking that way, and I was like, what are they looking at? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, super cool albergue hostel in, where am I? San Sebastian. It's beautiful. And then there's me. Yeah, they decided to break a rule for me. This place rocks. I'll put the name of it on the screen. I think it's called a room in San Sebastian.
Okay, so this is my glowing review for a room in the city hostel in San Sebastian. These room, these beds are the bomb. You have a little shelf in there. You have a charging station, you have a little bag. You have some privacy curtains, a blanket, which is awesome when you're just using a liner. Hooks, bean bags. It's pretty fat. This room has eight bunks in it, but there's private ones too. I believe there's also four bunks, but it's huge. It's in the center of San Sebastian and the help here is super, super nice. Let's see, we'll do a little tour. This is actually a private toilet and shower and the bathroom is huge. So heated tunnel rack. And there's other bathrooms too that are shared. But it's huge. It's, it's pretty much a dormitory. I've already shown you the roof. San Sebastian after hours. Okay, folks, I managed to pick up my sticks from the airport. Yes, that's right. They finally showed up, along with my pocket knife, which will come in handy. But, so now I'm on route. Sorry, just, just ran a red light. But uh, now I'm on route to find some curry. If you don't know by now, and chances are you don't. I love Indian food from all around the world. I'm always trying to find the best plate of uh, uh, Chamasag y Alapurata. But I have yet to. No, that's not true. It's one of my favorite dishes, and I should probably experiment with more. But yeah, so if I can find an Indian restaurant anywhere in the world, I know. It's a pilgrimage, I'm asking a lot. But I'm in a big city, a big town, and uh, I think I got what it takes to pull this off. Plus, I know there's one in town. I just hope it's open. This place now. bird up ahead is larger than the dog I just passed, in case you were watching, in case you noticed that. Look at that. Pigeons eat well. Take a right on Askatasuna yeah. in Hiribidia, then in 250 feet, take a left on Hanani Kalia. In 200 feet, take a left on Hanani Kalia. Yes. Well, folks, it worked out. San Sebastian from Bollywood. There's actually probably like five different Indian restaurants here. So definitely, definitely, if you're into curry as much as I am, know that you are, you are in the place. And in fact, there's more here. <laughs> there's more Indian restaurants in, in San Sebastian. Take a ride on Calle San Martin. On the entire Camino Frances. I'm not lying. So, we're on that later. But I think we'll bid you farewell and good night.
because I need to get up early tomorrow and get the hell out of Dodge with my sticks. Ciao.